Hi and welcome to today's quick tutorial about how to use the Reworld FC with the TBS Crossfire uh, Micro V2 receiver and also using the CRSF protocol which is a lot faster than the other protocols. So from the wiring you need to do actually um, make sure that you select 5 volt output here for the TRX, TX3 and RX3 pins. Then obviously you need to connect the ground wire to the ground pad of the FC. You need to connect the 5 volt pad for the crossfire to the VCC pin. The channel 1 pin needs to be connected to RX3 and the channel 2 pin needs to be connected on the TX3. With that configuration uh, our race flight and beta flight will work with the CRSF protocol and also telemetry will work. You don't need to select any inverters here because they are for TX4 and TX1 and we are done using those URs for the Revolt. Um, yeah, you also could use the channel 4 of the receiver for your smart audio. So if you have a TBS unifier running, just connect the audio cable to the channel 4 pin and on the radio, I will show later, you can select smart audio output, so that will also work. Now, um, what you need to do in beta flight is actually you need a, um, at least um, a 3.2 version flash in order to get the CRSF protocol to work. And on the ports tab, just make sure that UR3 is selected for serial RX and go save and reboot it. There is no need to actually uh, configure any telemetry here because that will, be, will also work on um, the configuration page. Just make sure that you select a serial based receiver and the protocol you select is CRSF. And then make sure the telemetry checkbox here under the features is on. And from there you can also um, configure the, to use the onboard um, voltage meter. And once that, that's connected here to the volt pin, you will be also able to receive the uh, battery voltage to your radio. Also with that configuration I just showed you the Lua script will work. On, on the next step I'll show you how to actually program the Tyrannus and how the Crossfire module needs to be set up. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about the radio. Make sure that on the model page actually you're using the external module in CRSF mode and the internal module is turned off. Um, also you can have full telemetry and also use the Lua script for configuring the FC. So if you um, discover new sensors you should see a lot of sensors coming on when you um, actually enable the telemetry on beta flight. Also you can use the Lua script on the radio. So just make sure on the display uh, setup you select for screen 2 script and BF and once I go long press page and long press page again you see the Lua script is also working and I could also select all my rates and all the things to configure also over the CRSF link on the crossfire. Now on the on the crossfire module itself just long press the button and go to RX micro v2 and select the output map and make sure that the channel 1 is CRSF TX, channel 2 is CRSF um, RX and you can also use the channel 4 for smart audio if you're using a Unify um, TBS Unify HV or normal one with the smart audio. Okay, that's uh, really all you need to do to get the Revolt running on beta flight and CRSF protocol used. Also you can use 